On August 2019, Hurricane Dorian slammed into the Bahamas. It struck so hard that it not only leveled entire communities and killed dozens of people. It also destroyed 30% of the coral reefs around the islands. We assessed uh, the fish populations, the coral populations, and everything else on the seafloor. In some places, right near Marsh Harbor, where the storm hit the hardest, we had reefs that were totally devastated. While nothing compares to the loss of lives on the islands, coral reefs are vital to the economic engine of the Bahamian people and thousands of other people around the planet. This is a story of how one of the most important ecosystems of the planet is failing. It is a story of the role some humans have played in pushing the climate into unprecedented territory. Coral reefs are built by and made up of thousands of tiny animals called coral palace. Most of them have white skeletons like human bones, and generally their brilliant color comes from a teeny tiny algae called the zooxanthellae. And these organisms provide organic nutrients that nourish the palate and sometimes give color to the corals. And corals can live individually or in large colonies that comprise an entire reef structure. For the most part, healthy coral reefs contribute to fishing and tourism, providing millions of jobs and contributing to economies all over the world. The long-term recovery of Abaco and Grand Bahama is tied in so closely with the, the marine environment. Fisheries are going to be important sources of income and food, and of course, uh, a lot of the tourist industry is based on having fish and healthy coral reefs. But the reefs provide more than food and income, they also provide protection. When hurricanes and cyclones make landfall, they sometimes do very serious damage. Healthy reefs protect land from the damaging effects of these tropical storms by reducing wave height and slowing the water before crashing into the shore. Over the years, humans have released enormous amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. As greenhouse gases trap more energy from the sun, the oceans are absorbing more heat, resulting in an increase in sea surface temperatures and rising sea level. When conditions such as the temperature changes, corals expel the symbiotic algae living in their tissues, which is responsible for their color. A spike of 1 to 2 degrees Celsius in ocean temperatures sustained over several weeks can lead to bleaching, turning corals white. If corals are bleached for prolonged periods, they eventually die. This is bad news, because in many places, the loss of coral reefs would amount to an economic disaster, depriving fishermen of their main source of income, forcing people to find more expensive forms of clothing, undermining the tourism industry, and making us more susceptible to the damaging effects of tropical storms. Worldwide, reefs protect hundreds of millions of people living in coastal communities. To reap the benefits of coral reefs, we need to ensure their continued health by significantly cutting our carbon footprint. 